and uh, we are live uh, hi everyone mike is here as usual and thanks for joining us for our weekly webinar so let's say hello in chat and thanks for joining hi donald hi marek hi kamal hi john nice to see our usual visitors our usual attendees thanks for joining hi summary hi eric hi sukrat hi kavir hi adrian hi sandy noah 18 people but uh, something about uh, 50 plus people uh, should join in total hi, to this webinar. hi mike how are you Hi, Meet. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Hi, Eric. Oh. Hi, Sukrat. Hi, Noah. Hi, Kabir. Hi, Sandy. And Kamal. Hi, Kamal. How are you? Hi, Eric. Hi, John. Hi, Samori. Hi, Eric. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, let's... Let's yeah. talk about the agenda of today's webinar. We plan to uh, present you new updates that we just published it for our membership card. It's not just a 1.2.0, it's uh, definitely 2.1 version right now. And uh, what's the good news here? It's not just the last update that we just did for this loyalty card mechanic. It means we plan to continue updating this card. And I would say right now, a loyalty mechanic with membership cards is a most powerful, most flexible, and uh, I think most valuable mechanic that we have right now in this product. It means you can deliver this product like product in product for your clients. I mean, it's a completely, completely standalone solution, I would say, because uh, membership is something uh, everyone needs right now. Membership is something could generate additional revenue for businesses and moreover predictable and uh, repeatable revenue because it's a membership, it's a subscription. All businesses actually want to switch from transactional to SaaS business models, not only agencies, not only digital marketers, but everyone in this, uh, in this year, in this century, I would say, want to switch from transactional to SaaS because it's more predictable, it's more scalable, it's more you know, it's a no-brainer business. If you're providing great services and subscribe with monthly basis, you can expect how you will get this month, next month, next quarter, and you can predict your business growing and you can invest in this business without any doubts. And this is really huge. This is important, I think. And uh, uh, today we will show you our updates that we just did. And as I said before, after future, we will deliver more and more and more feature to this loyalty card because we are we actually already bet on this card in our team, and uh, we want to build uh, the most powerful and most useful membership mechanic with digital loyalty card. So, uh, guys, if you have any feedback regarding uh, last release for membership card and if you had a chance to play with this mechanic could you please uh, share your thoughts about that and uh, maybe share your use cases that you already used or that you maybe use in the future plan to use in the future And also, I would say today, I want to discuss with you guys uh, mechanics, how to sell membership mechanic to your clients. And uh, if it's good to you, Kamal, if you have uh, today a right mood for this, if you want to join, I think it would be great if you can join the stage and discuss your ideas for membership card, because I really want to <coughs> say many thanks to Kamal because uh, partly membership mechanics uh, designed with uh, his uh, 
participation and his uh, suggestions. I am always in the mood, Kamal said. That's awesome, uh, like I am. And uh, let's uh, join to the stage and discuss your ideas for loyalty mechanic membership card for membership cards. How to deliver it to the clients? And maybe you already did some sales to your clients with membership card. I'm curious to know. So till we're waiting, Amit, uh, what do you want to add to today's topic? See, right now, I do not want to wait. I want to listen from you guys. I think Kamal is here already. Hi, Kamal. How are you doing? How's it going, guys? You okay? Hear me? Great. That was great. Everything. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Brilliant. Um, yeah, 2.1. Really excited. I'm assuming good stuff. I'm looking forward to it. Um, do you want me to briefly go through my what I'm trying to do, Mike? Is that what it is? Uh, yeah, actually, I have to ask you about uh, how do you uh, expect to see the membership, the ideal membership card? Doesn't matter in our service or not our service, but definitely we will do it in, on our site sometime. And also, I would discuss. Uh, I want to discuss some sales strategies for membership card. Who is uh, like? Just imagine your ideal client profile for this loyalty card mechanic, and yep. how do you plan to deliver this strategy to your clients? What the value do you want to deliver, and how to close the deal? Actually, this is the main question for every hour webinar and for every meeting. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'm not prepared for this, but. Um... In terms of uh, getting sales, I talked about it last time, have some sort of results to show and then have it in a, like a nice organized graph or steps to kind of make the client go through and then close the deal. Uh, one of the things with the membership, I'm obviously, as you guys know, I'm in the food sector. So all my clients are to do with food. So restaurants, takeaways, whatever. Um, so usually my strategy is um, when it comes to membership, I say, okay, can have two tiers of membership. So one is basic and one is VIP. Now the VIP one will be a paid membership. So the way it works is um, you can go to your customers and say, hey, Mr. Customer, here's the basic one and that's free for you to download and you can use it. And these are the benefits you get. You get, a, I don't know, free starter or you get free pop whatever it may be. Um, and then there's also, we have the VIP one. You pay, for example, one of my clients is, 29 pounds per year um, and you get basically significantly better offers. So it could be that you're getting, you know, two for one mains and so the offers are a lot better. Um, and when you do the maths and then on the website, um, what we're doing is we're showing the comparison. We're saying, okay, it's going to cost you 29 pounds to get this membership. However, if you total up the discounts that you get is 129 pounds. So you're literally making hundred pounds and, you know, some of these offers you can you can use it and you can pretty much make your money instantly kind of thing. Now, two things here. Number one, um, and obviously with the offers, you have to do the math and make sure that the customer is not losing out because some items you can put it on offer and your margins are a lot higher. So that means you're not losing much. Um, and then you have to do these maths individually with the clients. Um, and then what happens is, because ultimately um, we've done the maths in, in in our sector, um, our mainly I target Indian restaurants, and we've seen that it's only around about 15% retention, people are coming back. So, you know, there's a lot, there's like 85, 80 to 85% of these people are not coming back to your restaurant. And we've done the numbers and everything from the booking system and we've shown them. So the thing is, how do you get them to come back? And then this is what you do. You basically use the basic card and the, the uh, paid one with the, these ridiculous offers on there, but at least now they're coming back and these, they're saying that, okay, I'm only going to pay this much, but I'm, you know, kind of getting all these ridiculous offers. So there's reasons for them to come back. And the other thing is if somebody pays for it, they are loyal, loyal. You can expect them to come back many times. So the challenge remains, um, can I get somebody to spend 29 pounds and get, you know, more than hundred pounds worth product? So that, that's your only only target. That's your only challenge you're working with. And the rest, the system is working with. So that's the kind of module I try and explain to my customers and I am pushing and it's, it's doing well. 
Um, I've, I've got multiple clients interested in that. And it's another, you know, it's another income revenue. Um, one of my clients was like, if this works, and so far he's getting sales, if this works, then I don't want to focus on the other side, selling food on a daily basis. I just want to run the business with that. But the subscription is what I want to make the money. That's my profit. But in a way, what he's saying, his actual business is going to be the subscription. And the the day-to-day -day activities in the restaurant, the selling food, this, that, and everything, is just to survive. It's just to run the establishment. It's just to pay the wages. And that's when I thought, wow, that's, you know, that's something. Yeah. Come on. Thank you so much. I see three important points uh, from your speech. First of all, that's the brilliant idea, man. My congratulations on to offer two membership cards and I a little bit uh, provide a little spoiler. Today, you will be able to do that. Right now, you can run uh -huh. membership 1.0 and 2.0 right. in one time for your customer and your strategy ready to kick off uh, with this release. My congrats with this. Second thing, you absolutely right that most restaurants are surviving and they are working with zero margin. Absolutely. They are just covering their spend with the new income on daily basis. It's like, you know, like a hamster in the wheel working style. And this is not the business. It's also the Starbucks case, uh, Starbucks case. Maybe you know that uh, all the margin that they generated, they generated from their loyalty program. It wow. means not not by just uh, the spans of clients, returning clients and uh, increasing the number of retention. That's actually not. But the reason why and the, the method how they generated uh, revenue for their businesses it's a bonus points that customers collected on their bonus balances and forget to redeem. Yep. And, the, and this is the profit for the business. By statistics, it's something about 45 to 55% in average uh, clients don't spend, don't redeem from their bonus point balances. And this is the clear margin. This is the clear margin. This is a clear profit for businesses. That's, that's the powerful. And uh, thank you so much for highlighting uh, retention statistics from food and beverage. You told about 15%. We have information about 17%, but it's uh, some quite uh, qu quite similar in terms yeah. of the numbers. And uh, that's the huge problem. I mean, uh, some clients who really realize this problem and start working with that can dramatically increase the number of revenue and number of clients indoor to just start working with retention because it's it's the highest problem i think it's the hardest problem I, for whole brick and mortar businesses right I, now i can share uh, another uh, strategy i've just tried very recently if this helps everybody so uh restaurant so so very recently and i was able to basically work out what it cost for the restaurant to to get a customer through through boomerang so what happened was we've done an influencer event um, and that influencer event cost the restaurant 600 pounds in, in UK, right? And they had about 10 influencers come in and they made videos, X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. So what we've done is to, the ev to every influencer, we gave them uh, their own unique UTM. So I said, right, um, get your followers, tell them that if they come to this restaurant, they're gonna get this offer. So we gave them an offer and everybody's got their own link. And then after that, we had um, over 500 installs from, from those influencers event. And from the data, we've got two things. Number one is that of the 10 influencers, only three of them performed, got 80% of the result, right? So a lot of the restaurant do influencer event, they pay influencers to come in. Now, because of Boomerang, I was able to see, okay, well, which influencer actually works so i've got my three that's number one and number two i was able to do the math and say if it's, if it's cost the, the event cost 600 pounds and i've got 500 more than 500 installs so essentially what we're saying is per customer is cost me about what 125 so then now i can go to the restaurant and say look this is what it cost you one pound 25 per customer and these are coming back these are your you know, loyal customers because they're in your list now, they're in your system. You can send them reminders, messages, this, that, whatever, whatever. So when I've shown them this, they're like, oh, wow. That is, you know, Cause that's, they've never seen that before, which influencer works. And number two, how much is costing them to get a new customer? 
and uh, the influencers that came, the ones were performing, they were very impressed. They said, whoa, you know, I've, I've, I never knew what my results are. And now what I'm doing is I'm working those influencers to say, well, on your next event, I can do the same for you. All you do is just introduce me to your, to your restaurant, to your clients. So yeah. that's another strategy I've, I've tested recently where it can really well. Just sharing with everybody so everybody can use it. Happy to help. Great. Smart, yeah. really smart. Actually, the partnership and influencer sales, it's a much better strategy to increase your number of subscribers on your plans. I, I appreciate your shared uh, information and uh, it looks pretty smart. And uh, please keep, uh, stay us updated with your new strategies and new results, Kamal. I will be. We, we are with you. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for sharing. I much appreciate it. And stay in touch to watch how 2.1 version is works. I will. I will. I was going to send you some feedback, but I thought, you know, I'll wait. 2.1 sounds, 2 .1 sounds good. So I'll wait. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure most of the things are, are done. Thank you. I'm really re looking forward to it. Thanks for your time as usual. Great. Can't wait for your feedback. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. So uh, anyone maybe uh, want to join the stage and share ideas, strategies, uh, maybe questions by membership cards, uh, by the sales, yeah, etc. Right, right now it will be only about the membership card. Yeah. And yeah, about the sales part as well. Anybody who has made, have made a sale like, you know, this week or the previous one can join the stage and share, you know, how they did that. That is very well, important. I mean, I want to share uh, while we're waiting for other uh, guys who wanted to join. Uh, guys, please welcome. Don't hesitate to join the stage and uh, tell your story or ask the question. It would be great. Uh, let me please tell you about some ideas and uh, use cases from our existing clients because I'm closely staying in touch with our agencies. I'm asking, I'm listening, and uh, Donald are there. Hey, hi, Donald. How are there. you? Thanks I'm for joining. Good. Hi. <laughs> um, I just completed a sale. Great. Um, and I have um, another sale that I'm after this meeting, I'm just going to go and complete. So great, great. Actually, yesterday we met, right, Don? Yeah, yeah we met yesterday. Great. I said, I, um, this is a nail salon. Set her up. She was impressed with it. She loves the fact that it updates itself. And, um, yeah, I mean, the, the only hiccup I would say is is to get the scanner app in one place so that she knows exactly where to to grab it. And but I've um, bookmarked it and it's good to go. And then I'm going to do um, a barber shop who I'm actually going to partner up with to then offer them um, referral across um, just within the community like other business owners who get into the program will be, um, could, could actually participate in a referral program. Awesome. Awesome. First of and all, my congrats. I'm still on trial. My trial ends. Ah, days, you so. are close your deal during your trial period. Yeah, man. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> Thank you so much for this information. So, uh, first of all, what strategy do you want to suggest, uh, to your bubble shop? to your prospect. So the, the strategy is, um, so what we're trying to do is to maintain, because barbershops and nail salons, they go to cyclical appointments. So you mm -hmm. want to get to a wallet size where you want people to spend. And so the deals are against those wallet size instead of um, like stamps. And because nail salons offer so many different services, it's easy to just have like a, a rewards program where if they spend up to $500, they get back $50 credit. And that gives, that provides some consistency throughout the periods, through, throughout the low periods. So that's the, that's the idea. Um, secondly, is not to, so a lot of barbershops and nail salons, they do have appointment system that has membership and rewards. Look at the benefits of Boomerang. Um, look at what it allows on the back end. And look at the, um, one of the benefits is the ability to, to actually notify the users through the app immediately when the rewards are, are, um, are updated. 
And that's a good thing because the users feel, the clients feel, oh, I've got another reward. Um, the other appointment systems can't do that. They either have to send an email or send an SMS, which costs on the back end. So that's a, that's a sort of benefit that you can leverage with, with Boomerang. Definitely, definitely. So uh, could I uh, provide a couple of recommendations for barbershops? Because we have a great expertise uh, working with uh, beauty niche specifically. Mm -hmm. Uh, barbershops uh, really like to set up the punch cards because uh, the main cut as a service, it's a some simplified and the standard yeah. thing that could be repeated. And it make a lot of sense to set up each uh, tens, each uh, maybe 15th or maybe if each fifth cutting uh, for a free or maybe with a huge discount. But mm -hmm. if you want to provide the discounts, please, uh, consider the discount uh, no less than 50% because 10%, 15, 20%, it's, uh, it's, it's a marketing bullshit. It's a not reason to go to sit into the chair and get this service, you know, but something above of 50% uh, of discount, it's a motivation. It's a reason mm -hmm. to do that. But yeah, if, you, if you can consider the free service, for example, each 11th free, haircut for clients mm -hmm. it means you will provide simple 10 percent for each service for each visit and you will redeem all these discounts just in the one eleventh visit it means the economic is works without any problems 10 percent it's a, any business can uh, implement 10 percent discount for their regular clients mm -hmm. it's not a problem here absolutely and you can you can just communicate and you can just uh, tell about this in the right uh, approach to your client and you can sell this absolutely right just 10 percent of 10 visits and at 11 you get this service for free but the trick is not everyone will get this 11th visit by statistics as i said before from 45 to 55 percent of uh, people redeem their bonus points from their cards it means just half of people who already earned this reward will redeem this reward. It means your discount will decrease it by just 5%. Okay, so if, 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 I, if I'm getting this right, so so for the barbershop where we're using punch, so 10, um, the 11th visit, they get 10%. And I was saying to the barbershop, the barbershop owner, that's a bit small, so maybe it should be 20%. So what you're saying is that it should be 10%. No, no, no. 10, 10 visits uh, by classical price without any discounts. But mm -hmm. when clients visit 10 times, 11 visits will be for a free. It means if you divide this 100% okay. right. discount for 10 visits, it right. should be something like 10% for each one. But just a half of people who earn this reward will redeem this reward. It means your okay. discount price decreased by 5%. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a, it's, yes. it's a marketing trick, uh, really confirmed by a lot of big brands like Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, and etc. Yeah. It's not a based on big data. And you can find these uh, statistics in the web. It's uh, open statistics. It's not something uh, sick, top secret, you know? Yeah, that's, that's actually a good idea. Because as you said, probably 30%, 20% might redeem that, that um, 11th or... Um, Level what card. do you think what do you think about Kamal's strategy with the membership cards for example to offer one free membership for everyone to get something like you know uh additional services like face massage uh, during the process of hair cutting or something like that and the paid membership for special pricing for uh you know a glass of whiskey when you visited this barber shop or mm -hmm. something like that what do you think uh, about this strategy? I, I like that idea. I, I think because a lot of the, um, the like the POS with this current barbershop do have that uh, ability to do membership. So what I was trying to do is to add something that's on top of that membership. And because this current barbershop is actually in Go High Level, so a lot of his integration has been done between, this is a piece that I have to test out integration between the go ahead of a piece and where he actually will able to send out birthday reminders um stuff that are tied to the 
to the um the largest card yeah beautiful so uh how many clients uh, do you have uh, under your go high level agency brand so i have i have um 30 clients on the go high level agency but um only i only have two that's on the loyalty card so i'm trying to what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to use the the loyalty card as kind of an offer to get them into converting over into a yeah, higher my, anyway yeah. my congratulations with the first closure on the first day it's a it's a best i think traction uh in our history <laughs> just well, the well, the this, this is my this is my just to clarify this this is my i have five more days on my trial but i gotta sign up um so it took me quite a while to kind of work through as as i mean you know trying to work through how to set up the the back end um but but one of your team members was pretty great at helping and so yeah i'm gonna sign up um in a couple of days and good to go good to go yeah donald thanks for sharing uh, and uh, i wish you i wish you the easiest closure with your barber shop and uh please don't hesitate to join next webinars and share your question asking us for some strategies we can discuss them in live mode and mm -hmm. uh, help you to close as much deals as we can to do it together thank you yeah thank you take care and good luck so anyone else uh maybe want to join the stage and discuss strategies come on Before... guys join join come on it's the stage we all are here to discuss things with you definitely and preferable in uh regarding the membership card please yes. today it's a topic of the party uh Okay. It's just my bad that I changed the way and discussed the stamp card because this stamp card mechanic is really, really the greatest fit for barber shops. I agree. Uh, system. Is there a way to integrate the system with the tablet? yes you can integrate this system with everything you want we have an open api that you can find in our website footer section developers link you can use this api to use uh, like no code integrations like zapier make.com and others Publi, and etc or even you can uh, use our native integration that you can find in our dashboard settings and integration part <coughs> It's not too much right now, guys. We are hardly working to generate and uh, create and publish as much integrations, native integration as we can. And much of them is on the way right now. Like right now, uh, let me please introduce that we are hardly working uh, to finish our integration with Toast, one of the most popular point of sale system in North America market. We just published it Square integration if you didn't hear about that my recommendation is to watch our previous webinars about on how to set up this integration with square you can find these webinars on our youtube channel please join subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon don't forget about that and also we are working on clover integration right now and shopify is uh, you know on the final review stage on their part. We are ending the review and we believe to see this integration published it in the Shopify marketplace by the end of this month. It's my dreams and uh, that's my main wish for this month. So, uh, okay, uh, if anyone else want to join the stage, uh, take the microphone and uh, discuss strategies like so welcome, but I think that's the time to uh, show you 2.1 updates and um, I a little bit unboxed this uh, previously while I said that uh, it's possible right now to run 1.0 and 2.0 cards uh, in one time. Amit, do you see my screen? All is good? Yeah, all good. Awesome. So uh, here is my demo stage as usual based on app.go2cards. That's my dummy domain name for the presentations, white label version, of course. And I am like an agency right now creating the membership card. So uh, 
these updates uh, looks like uh, too small in terms of the visual changes right now, but it's a huge in terms of the functionality under the hood that we did by the previous two weeks. So first of all, you can uh, still charge your clients for different membership tiers that you can set up in our dashboard. It means it could be a paid type of membership card or it could be a non-paid membership card. It means if you choose uh, collecting payment as a no, just, uh, just off this setting, you will use the membership card version 1.0 and also to support the 1.0 version we updated our design part right now you can show the name of the customer and the photo in the central part of the card but uh, the first version usually uh, doesn't require these uh, features you can just uh, switch off these settings from the front side of the card so uh, let's, uh, let me please uh, show you how you can customize the 1.0 version right now. First of all, you need to turn off your collect payments. You need to set up your membership expiration date because based on paid period, it means you need to charge your clients. If you don't charge your clients, you need to set up specific time and date. And it could be three options like previously with 1.0 version. It could be unlimited membership card. I think that's the great uh, fit for Kamal's strategy for classical and free membership cards for everyone, right? Fix a term in the future if you want to run the uh, just specific term membership program, for example, uh, specifically by the end of this year, or it could be the fixed term after the card issuing for each customer, for example, this card could work just seven days after the card installation. So next one, uh, you can customize the membership tier unit measure name. What it means, you can set up the limits on your card. For example, with your membership uh, bronze tier, you included 10 coffees in a certain coffee shop of your client, right? And uh, you can customize this name. For example, it could be two visits right now, but it could be eight coffees, right? And uh, you can see the different name of these goods, of limited goods here. But let's get this back to the visits and uh, let's go ahead. This is the next and actually huge update. Let me please uh, turn collection payment active after renewal is exit based on paid period. And uh, let me please show you this update. Right now, we just published the trial period mode for membership cards. And you can customize trial period uh, from one day to 30 days. If you don't want to use trial period for your membership tiers, you just can still keep zero in this field. It means the trial period is deactivated and you will charge your clients immediately when they are subscribed for one of your plans. So uh, where it could be the great idea and when it could be the great idea to enable the trial periods. For example, if you want to scale the number of memberships, you need to offer to try your services before, like sample, get the sample. Just imagine the case with the gym. Gym, uh, Gyms, actually, it's a, one of the most popular use cases for this membership card. Gyms in, in the medical centers also. Let's imagine the gym. Let's assume the gym who wants to increase the number of uh, visitors inside. And they can offer two options. First of all, the classical membership cards with different tiers and uh, maybe with one tier when will be charged immediately or you can offer for example seven day trial period for your newcomers for new clients right and uh, so when you offer seven days you can attract more people to install your membership card on the trial period without any payments and after seven days of visit they will be charged automatically by stripe payment getaway it means you can increase the number of leads and trials and trials to try your service 
and you can close them much better inside your gym with your trainers with your you know couch with your salespersons everywhere with everyone you can close more deals because your offer looks much attractive with the trial period and right now these feature are completely integrated with the stripe you can see the number of trial clients you can see the number of converted clients from the trial to paid and you can also see the clients who just installed the card subscribed for a trial but didn't pay for the next payment period and you can also upsell them you also have all the contacts this is the main benefit and value of the trial period you capture the contacts of your food traffic of your potential clients and you can communicate with them by the phone by the email everywhere you can also set up the automations through the go high level through the any other marketing automation tools and you can just upsell them after that just thank you so much for visiting our membership our sorry gym for seven days maybe something went wrong we want to uh, learn more uh, please provide your feedback ask more questions and uh, ask them actually to pay if all uh, was good please uh, set up your payments and start using start visiting our gym on the regular mode right why not and i think that's the huge if you want to increase the number of issued membership cards offer the trial period so also you can set up the limitations for the trial period and this is actually the topic also the topic for today's webinar my recommendation to set up the limits uh, for example for gym you can set up not just everyday visits for the seven days you can set up just two visits during the trial period and you can fill this information in the at the terms of use section in the terms of use section just uh, consider the opportunities consider the options and fill in the right information in your description in the terms of use so in my case let's set up the seven days uh, trial period for this loyalty card how it will work uh, we will subscribe uh, right now during this webinar for the trial period but let me please explain you how it work uh, up front uh, look all the clients that will uh, try to subscribe on your trial period will see your classical uh, subscription page with your tiers with your informations and other and other things with the pricing and etc they need to choose one of the plans and uh, the right term of your plan for example bronze period on monthly payment right after that they will fill in their payment data and personal data into the card issuing form it means you will get all the information about this customer before you will charge them right and uh, so after that they will see the next expiration date and next renewal date on their card it will be the next charging day when trial will be ended and the, when the first charging comes so uh next one as you remember the classical uh settings for the membership tiers you can customize unlimited number of the tiers but the first tier and the one tier it's a main minimal requirement for the membership card because we need to charge for something for some tier basically by default it's a bronze tier you can set up a description you can customize the pricing for daily weekly monthly and yearly periods you can uh, just turn off some periods if you do not want to offer some monthly or yearly if you want to provide just monthly and yearly you can do this and also you can highlight one of your periods as a recommended and uh, your clients will see the you know top choice page on this period like in any SaaS product you can highlight one of the options to get more sales specifically on this time period so as before you can add some benefits uh, for this membership tier like for example um free uh, as uh, we're talking about the gym let's talk about the gym benefits uh, for example it could be uh you know 24 uh 7 access to the gym it's maybe uh two personal trainings 
and it could be for example uh free uh drinks in a healthy bar it's just imagination uh please don't pay too many attention for this okay next one you can customize the silver plan gold plan and you can add additional tiers if you want if you don't want to provide many tiers you can just delete them and uh, keep playing with the main tier for example main or like a perfect choice let's uh, let's uh, name it uh, name this tier like this description uh, basic uh, membership tier and uh, we already limited the number of visits that's good that's good go ahead classical card issuing form uh, where we ask in uh, first name last name phone number email date of birth and photo if you don't want you can delete them right now it's possible and you can uh, disable the image and name at the front top of the card next one you could also uh, connect your uh, loyalty card with uh, up to 10 geo location to show geofence push notifications to your customers don't forget about that customize the language date format uh, separators uh, for thousand and decimals UTM links I saw a couple of questions in our chat during today webinar regarding how to track UTM, UTM links you need to add your UTM links in your uh, loyalty card template uh, settings here for example we can distribute our loyalty card through the you know QR code it's a basic uh, UTM link uh, that uh, generally automatically generated with every QR code you need to know that next one it could be you know Facebook uh, page just Facebook community and also it could be for example the GHL automation right so got it already we have uh, three different uh, UTM links that we can distribute with different places offline online and online uh, via different channels and we will set up one of these uh, cards a little bit after so uh next one we need to customize uh the phone masks it could be states privacy policy we could allow our customers to install loyalty cards in google wallet application for Android devices, for Android users. But uh, by default, we disable this opportunity because uh, Google Wallet, unfortunately, still doesn't support push notifications natively. And this is why we highly recommend to install our loyalty cards like a PWA applications for Android users. And we also highly updated our uh, PWA cards previously last week. And we added the... Um, detailed instruction on how to install PWE card on the home screen for Android users. Please check it on your site and uh, don't hesitate to share your thoughts about this and uh, your opinion. It's uh, really important for us. Next one, we can limit the number of issued cards. For example, we can offer a special membership for up to first 100 visitors, right? And after the 100 installs, the 101st attempt We'll show you the sorry message, but uh, sorry, this membership is not available now. Please uh, contact with the business that offer this um, offer to the clients or something like that. And also we could limit the number of customers check in a day. It's uh, also interesting requirement. And this is also this feature powered by our community. And I want to uh, say thank you so much for your thoughts and for your feedback. It's really a great journey to build product together with uh, professional marketers and experienced guys who suggest the right things, by the way. So uh, this is actually the prevention from any fraud in any businesses for example uh usually it uh, looks strange with someone doing two three manicure procedures during one day it looks fraudly and so like a tricky right 
and we can uh, limit just the number of check-ins for the gym it could be two i think uh, i know a couple of my friends visit gyms uh, twice a day and it's also the case but five times a day it uh, sounds like a too much right and then we can set up the two as a limit for a day and here is the place where you can place your uh, analytics code for google analytics and facebook pixel code if you distribute your loyalty card through the facebook ads or instagram ads and it could be also the great uh, flow just imagine this case i mean you can set up the seven days uh free trial for your gym right you can place your cart installation form directly right in your instagram ads local instagram ads and you can uh, create best uh ad creatives for this like try our gym for hours for seven days without any payments try it out now push the button after that you will you will open the uh, cart installation form and you will subscribe for seven day free trial and you can start uh, visiting this uh, gym just today how it sounds great so i think yeah that's the great flow in this case you uh, even don't need to use the coupon card for the first contact and the first attraction for your clients you can use membership card it's the ultimate and one-stop solution for get this job done actually so uh, that's actually all i don't want to spend your time uh, for the uh, visual customization in design part and uh, as the information part it's also the same card description company name active links feedback links terms of use blah 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 and issuer information i highly recommend to um, update your terms of use uh, to tell a little bit more about your uh, membership tiers about your free trial period and other things that you just customize it on the previous steps and uh, also i would say you can skip all these settings if you create if you will create uh, your uh, loyalty card via the prospecting tool and via the richer because prospecting tool will set up this site basically collect all the data from the business from the open sources like uh, google maps google my business uh, google place api and uh, will fill in all the information inside the card automatically you can save a lot of manual time for this work so uh that's actually done for the settings so let's uh, install the loyalty card let me please open the different link um give me one second please amit uh if you can help me uh feed the questions from the chat i think it would be awesome Uh, after the membership card goes live, you can't change the pricing or labels, right? This would be great to have as during time trainers, coaches would like to increase their price or add new levels to their membership. Oh, it's, it's, that's a great question. Thank you so much. Uh, so uh, let me please explain you how it works uh, in terms of the Stripe uh, recurring payments. So uh, you can change the pricing after the card activation but all previous customers who were subscribed on your previous pricing will keep using the previous pricing but after you change the pricing and uh, you offer the new pricing new pricing will appear in your card installation form for newbies for newcomers right and newcomers will subscribe for the new plan for stripe it's a two different plans different prices means different plans okay if you set up the hundred dollars a month it's just a one plan if, if you set up the 150 it uh, will be the next plan second plan and you can see subscribers on these different plans on these different prices in your stripe dashboard every time so also i forget to tell you about the statistics that we updated on the dashboard but uh, let me please complete uh, with the card installation before uh so 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 uh this 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 uh link one second please Shh, 
this one. So uh, here is the cart installation form. In the header section, you will see, and your customers, of course, uh, will see your logo type here, your colors of the top, if you change this in the design section, membership name, perfect choice. It's the name of our tier. Basic membership tier is the description. Here is the three uh, benefits that we offer with this plan. And uh, two options, we can subscribe on monthly and on the yearly plan as well. Let's subscribe on the yearly plan. Um, <coughs> test membership at, uh, yes. Yes, uh, and also we can upload a photo. This is my best photo, best picture. And uh, we can install this card in Apple Wallet right now. After we push this button, we need to uh, fill in our payment information, credit card or debit card information to subscribe on the trial period you can see uh, the perfect choice seven days free then 350 dollars per year it means on the eight day exactly stripe will charge you for 350 for the next year my demo card and my demo account is prepared my information is uh, pre-filled i push the button subscribe status is confirmed we got this information uh, from the Stripe site and the card just downloaded as a PK pass file uh, into my Chrome because Chrome is not the best way to install card in Apple wallets from the desktop. It's a mobile solution, but system says that uh, your card is installed uh, and uh, you can find your card in the Apple wallet. This is how it looks and how it works. So uh, what do you think about that, about the trial period? I want to get your feedback and uh, I kindly move into the statistics to the next topic. Amit, if you can help me with the questions from the chat, it would be great. Yeah, there is a question from Philip that can we edit the CSS for this? Can we edit what? Sorry. CSS. CSS. Uh, interesting. For what? For CSS. For CSS, I understand. But uh, what do you want to customize with the CSS code? I just want to know. I think Philip will be writing it down again. For the CSS code, yes. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I got it. Thank you so much. But what do you want to customize? In terms of the view, the design. Okay, that's the answer. Okay, so potentially that's possible, but right now we're trying to keep our design as simple as we can because uh, the card issuing form, it's not something about uh, design, it's not something about UI, it's just clear UX. Because on the card issuing form, we're trying to get as much conversion as we can. This is why it looks uh, uh, really stupid, maybe. Um, so those too simple, of course, but you know, the conversion is the king here in the card switching form. You can brand it your website, promo, create uh, awesome ad creatives for your Facebook ads, Google ads. But you know, if you open the classical Facebook lead form, you can see the same stupid uh, basic design. It should be uh, understandable for everyone. Adrian is asking, is there a cancellation screen for membership card? And if so, can we enable and set some sort of discount offer to keep them from canceling? I think <clears throat> you can do it from the Stripe side. From the Stripe side, you can manage all the subscription uh, without any doubts. And moreover, we want to provide uh, opportunity to self-management for your customers by the end of this month. We will add the manage button in the card description it means they can 
not just unsubscribe from your plans, but also they can uh, just upgrade their plan from the lowest to the highest, right? Or maybe just buy some add-ons from you if you want to add some add-ons for this feature, of course. It makes sense and uh, it will be yeah. added so soon. As I said before, guys, uh, the membership card, it's uh, just product inside the product in terms of the uh, volume of work that my team is uh, doing on a daily basis. And I want to say thank you so much for my development team. They are really really heroes in my eyes. Uh, they are with the small numbers of people we are doing a lot of features uh, in the short terms. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, there is one question from Alex. Are there plans to add the check-in limit feature on other cards? Definitely. Thanks for asking. Uh, we will update other cards in place with the same limitation. Uh, we did, we uh, uh, figured it out that it's a popular request from our community and our clients, and it makes sense to share this uh, feature between all the cards. Makes sense. Memberships uh, can be verified in the scanner apps. Yes, of course. It could work standalone. It should work standalone. And, you know, basically, we uh, did all this functionality for the membership card to provide you opportunity to work standalone without integration with third parties. Because I know a lot of uh, platforms provide membership right now, but this is a breakthrough memberships with a lot of features, with trials, with uh, add-ons, with uh, limitations, with Stripe Connect uh, under the hood. And uh, literally, you need to offer this product as a standalone for the beauty salons, for the restaurants, for the barber shops for the for everyone actually because as i said before the main agenda for the membership card and main reason why you need to offer this solution to your clients because everyone in 2024 want to switch from transactional to SaaS mode to predictable scalable repeatable business everyone <clears throat> can a sub account have their own sub account uh, uh, it's a great question, Philip. Uh, thanks for asking. So look, uh, when you're running the classical agency, you cannot sell agency under the agency and franchise, uh, franchise under the agency. But if you want us to do that, we can do that for additional pricing for that because we have a lot, we have a couple of clients who already manage franchises under their own brands, under their agency accounts. Of course, it's technically it's possible, but not from the box. You need to, you need to reach out to our sales team and uh, set up appointment to learn more about the pricing, about how it can be done. Mm, it would be we, custom plan. Yeah, it would be custom plan, Philippe. You're right. Can we do something with payment to strive for gift card products? This way we can sell gift cards anywhere. I think it will be yes yes <laughs> we will give us some time please yes for sure you yeah, will be able yeah. to sell gift cards as well as a standalone solution of yeah, course yeah. yes mike uh, okay. it's logically right it's logically to sell gift cards for the stripe like a memberships but you know uh why we choose the membership as a first card type to improve and connect with the stripe because you know, it's, uh, yeah. I think, uh, literally every point of sale system has their own gift uh, mechanic inside. It's uh, not something uh, breakthrough and not something unique at this time in 2024 even, right? But uh, the membership, it's still something tricky for businesses. Different platforms, different limits, and uh, we want to make this membership like, you know, like a like, like not, not like a main loyalty mechanic but uh the most uh, the most modern and most uh, breakthrough in our portfolio so uh <clears throat> torso is asking uh, what is asking yeah so has the scanner app been updated to accommodate the changes definitely and by the end yeah. of this month we will update scanner application as well you will see the number of limits unused limits, uh, available limits, uh, desire, everything. Everything, as you can see, will be in the scanner by the end of this month. But right now, you can scan existing 2.1 membership card 
just uh, proceed the visits, uh, redeem some uh, limits from them without any problems, but UI will be improved very soon. So guys, uh, let me please uh, finish my demo with uh, the statistics because when you're selling the membership, it's uh, regarding the payments that you collect from your clients. And uh, when you collect the payments with this product, it's a make, a, make us a lot of sense to improve the statistics inside the product as well. And so uh, we improved the uh, membership card type page, inner page, and we improved the statistics. Here you can see uh, the gross revenue generated. Uh, it's all revenue from sales of your membership card. Here is the number of active members. Here is the number of new members during the period that you choose here in the top side. Also, we count and track the number of churned members because, uh, you know, subscription, it's something that also faced some churn rate. Next one, we calculated the monthly recurring revenue because membership, it's, it's also SaaS business, you know, it's a service, uh, it's a software as a service, it could be a uh, you know, nails as a service, coffee as a service, and everything as a service. In this case, we should calculate monthly recurring revenue because it is, it's repeatable business anyway. Next one, we calculate the lifetime value of the members, and uh, we also calculated the average revenue per user. We're gathering this data from the Stripe site, and uh, you can also <laughs> check the real statistics and real numbers in your Stripe site as well. But to be more convenient and uh, to get uh, all the information from your dashboard, we provided this information and just reflected this information here in the car in the card page as well. And also, you can get all these statistics in the charts if you want, and you can get all these charts like in Stripe, even in your statistics page here in the dashboard. So here is update by statistics. I'm sorry for uh, missing statistics here. No data, we just created this loyalty card. But uh, when you start playing, you can see the growing numbers. And uh, so why it's also important to show your clients uh, revenue generated from your services, because if you are providing some values, some leads, some uh, potential clients, prospects, or everything else, it's, it's important but it's not the money. If you're providing the money, if you start being as a revenue source for your clients, it's, uh, you know, hardly to close the contract with you. It's much hardly. This is why we implemented this uh, information regarding the attraction payments and uh, monthly recurring revenue right in the dashboard. So a couple of uh, minutes, I think, for the questions. I mean, could you please uh, highlight me the most important from the chat? Mm, there be, okay, is there, a, is there any way to make push notification display on the card itself for the day so it can be easily found since it's gone once you click on it? <laughs> you want it to be there for the whole day. Yeah, I think so. UTM tracking stats. I think we have not provided that. By the API, you can get the statistics. But uh, Noah, thank you so much. Uh, we need to add this feature into the dashboard soon. Here is a crazy idea from Kamal. That is imagine the membership and reward card as one. Yeah, actually, our CTO uh, offer um, offered some idea to create uh, for you guys some, you know, loyalty card template designer in the product. It means uh, where you can customize your loyalty mechanics, combine them, and uh, create your own custom loyalty mechanic. Not only strict loyalty mechanics that we have right now but maybe your own and customize it once. Yeah, I think uh, it's, uh, it's, to be honest, it's not something that uh, really uh, highlighted in our roadmap and uh, place it just as a next step. But uh, we, 
we, we, we already talking a lot of time about this feature inside the team and uh, sometime it will be published, definitely. Okay, if the customer want to cancel a subscription plan, should they do it from Stripe or can they do it on the card? Uh, they can do it from the Stripe every time without any doubts, for sure, because Stripe is available for everyone. It, it works pretty well right now. And also uh, our recommendation right now is to contact with uh, membership uh, issued company with membership provider and ask them to uh, manage subscription and close the subscription as well. Next week, we plan to update you, uh, update your cards and add manage link at the back side in the description you know, for all cards. It means uh, it will be the same customer uh, portal from the Stripe, but it will be more convenient for customers. They can find this link much easier just from the certain card, right? right. Uh, yeah, I think Noah already discussed MEB. Would you consider making the visit limit function even more flexible, like limit per hour, for example, where they want to go for an hour and then come back again? Yeah, okay. interesting. <laughs> can you uh, can you uh, tell me for which niche you are talking about for this particular use case? Okay, he's talking about coffees, like getting a drink. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So potentially, yes, it's not a big deal to switch from days to hours. But, you know, right now we just start, uh, we just want to share this feature, as I said before, between all existing card mechanics. I think limit for a day, it's more than enough to start playing with limits generally. Okay, uh, so yeah, no. I think we are a bit out of time for today's yeah. webinar. And uh, I'm really happy to see that our webinars are uh, going out of time. <laughs> higher and higher and higher. It means uh, we see a lot of people on our webinars. Guys, thank you so much for that. Uh, it's really a pleasure to me to present you new features every week. Uh, thanks for your questions. And I much appreciate the time when you join the stage and tell about your updates about your sales about your strategies and etc my recommendation is to start every hour webinar from the live communication and sharing our sales cases and successful cases right let's uh, just uh, let's just uh, um, predict first 10 15 minutes like a warm up period to talk with uh, with the people and uh, Let's talk about the sales at this time. For today, uh, I think it's enough. Thank you so much. I hope it was uh, helpful for you. And I hope you imagine some couple of strategies uh, how to sell membership card 2.1 to your clients with the trial period as well, because it's a, it's a huge in terms of the sales for this loyalty mechanic. And uh, as usual, see you same time, same place, with the same company, invite your friends and uh, let's rock and roll. Thank you so much and take care. See you next week. Bye. Bye.